here because you do not seem to understand the gravity of the situation. While this war rages on, our enemy is growing stronger and stronger. Those things outside do not give a single thin shit about anything. Not what's fair or right or good. So if you've got any notion about laying down arms, forget about it. Now, get in formation. Hey, you! You're interrupting my training! Get in formation! Actually, I just wanted to talk. Well, you've come to the wrong place! Look, I'm sure your intentions are good, but right now, I'm busy whipping these morons into shape! It's a miracle that most of these numbskulls even showed up today. There's twice as many who didn't even bother! Why would that be? You're asking for reasons? These idiots don't have reasons. They're like cattle. Lazy cattle! It is my duty to make sure that everyone who leaves this yard knows how to do their job. In order to achieve that, I need a little discipline. Unless I beat some sense of the real world into their thick skulls, they'll be off with the others preaching blue skies and sunshine. No amount of belief in the Creator will save you if you're faced with a barrel of a gun or some deadly creature's jaws. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do! If you're not one of these runts, come back tomorrow and I may have a use for you! Before we get started on the drill... Herbert speaking to you from the orbit. Hmm. Interesting. not escape my notice that some of you have been slacking when it comes to maintaining your weapons. That is unacceptable! I will not tolerate rust. I will not tolerate carelessness. No. We do not have no, replacements! can't do that yet. Now, get to it! You said you had a use for me? That's correct, soldier. Listen up. I'm gonna lay it all out. I've asked around about you, and think you've already had military training. They also say you're a specialist in foreign terrain. Personally, I'd have put you on latrine duty, but there's more to you than I thought. I'm offering you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to put your skills to real use. Interested? Depends on the risk and the pay. It's not going to be a walk in the park. Every day from sunup to sundown, I push our people to their limits. I'm not hard on them for the money. I'm not hard on them because I like it. I do it to give them a fighting chance out there. Any day one of my recruits doesn't get torn limb from limb by some beast is a good day. So if you're just looking to make a few shards, I have no use for you. I need idealists. I still don't know what you actually want from me. Let me be clear. We have very few supporters, even fewer soldiers. And an army that can't fight is no army at all. These walls are a prison. I want us to escape. And to do that, we need soldiers. People who know what they're doing, not a bunch of religious nutjobs who think prayer's the answer. I don't care if we're working with thieves or thugs or any kind of criminal. Beggars can't be choosers. And you think I'm a little bit of all those things, right? No, we're talking right now because you spend time with these sorts of people, and don't try to tell me otherwise. I want to use your connections to win these people over to our cause. Can I count on you? You can. What do you need me to do? You've got backbone. Good. I'll keep it short. 
I'm sure you're familiar with the Outlaws' crater. They're savages. Toss their trash straight out onto the street. They treat their people the same way, but we can use the people they throw out like trash. Head to the crater, find out who's on their hit list, and bring them here. I want to learn from you. And you'll have to show up at the crack of dawn tomorrow, just like everyone else. I wasn't planning on waiting that long. If I had to teach everyone individually, we would have a great army. In about a hundred years. What if I paid you? Special treatment in exchange for Alexa. Hmm. A few more shards would certainly help us out. I'll make you a deal. I will charge you a small fee for each unit of training, regardless of whether you back out or not. In exchange, I will help you improve your melee and ranged combat skills. I can also show you how to use your equipment more effectively. I need more shards. Then stop! What? I want to see continuous movements. No gaps in the sequence. Routine is everything. In a combat situation, you will not have time to think. Slack off for one second and the enemy will punish you. You there, maggot. Is that how your grandpa fights? Put some fucking effort into it. Never let your guard down. Situational awareness. Keep your comrades safe by keeping the end with the hole in it pointed towards the enemy. What's going on in the back? Are you breaking formation? N no, sir. Who gave you permission to open your mouth? I think you need some extra training. A lap around the yard. Move it! Cry yourselves to sleep later if you like, but while you're standing here in front of me, you will maintain formation! Soft little mama's boys are of no use to me! Loudmouth braggarts are no use to me! I need you to find your limits, because, make no mistake, you will need to push them in combat! The Creator may have made you, but I'll be the one who hones you, makes you useful! You think it'll be easier somewhere else? Then get out of my sight! If you can't handle the training, then go home and cry to your mothers! You believe it's tough in here, then...
Hello, my boy. What could old Porter do for you? Just taking a look around. You're new here, huh? Come sit with me by the fire. Take an energy drink. I assume you know why you're here. Hero, give me a chance to explain. You let yourself be cut. Look, I can't write. I just wanted to help Yasma, the Berserkers. You should know that the Berserkers are none of your concern. I was just trying to get info about the fort, uh, about Rat. And you had no orders from Baxter to do so. Well, that was very considerate of you. Go home. Get a good night's sleep. Wait, uh, I'm free to go? Of course you are. My friend here will escort you. We wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you on the way there, would we? <laughs> There's no need for that. I, I can manage on my own. All right, then off you go. Sleep tight. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. scare me like that. What do you want from me? I've got nothing. Why so nervous? N nervous? No, it, it's just that I've misplaced something. That's all. What are you looking for? Look, not now. Oh, just... Hey, you're a smart guy, yeah? I didn't ask for work. You haven't even heard my offer. I'll pay you a hundred shards if you run a few errands for me. And believe me, you'll have them done in no time. There's really no faster way to earn shards. Ha! <laughs> oh, it takes more than that to get me out of bed. Oh, of course. What was I thinking? I'm at 200 shards. Come on. It's the deal of a lifetime. A fistful of purchases, and you'll be swimming in Alexit. How about it? Look. To make sure you forget my face when you walk out of here. It's a deal. This is a fucking dump. It's the worst. What are you whining for? We got money. going to happen to me. Ah, another volunteer. You'll get the same speech as everyone else. Go to the board over there. That's where you'll find my assignments. If anything's not clear, just ask. Equipment and weaponry are not provided. 
But by looking at you, I can see you came prepared. When the job is done, you come to me to collect the bounty. I'm going for a smoke. You can do that later. I want to smoke now, so spare me your advice. Hang on. You look familiar. That deadpan expression. Ah, you must be Jax. Have we met? Don't think so. How do you know who I am, then? Heard all about you, is all. You led some shit with the Alps, right? And then just disappeared. That's an interesting interpretation. <laughs> we all got our baggage. You and I are alike in that. Hadn't expected to see you in this shithole. Want something from me? If not, I'm lighting up. You're not from around here, are you? Nah. I lived in the crater for a long time. Worked for one of Baxter's bootlickers. <laughs> a bounty hunter, if you're interested. I was a fucking mud on a leash. Whatever was going, I took it. Ah, but that was another life. I ain't proud of it. So what brought you to the Morcons? Happy coincidence, I guess. Was finishing up a contract. Had to put a bullet in some poor sap skull. Just pulled the trigger and job done. Didn't realize the poachers were after my target too. I was so focused on the hapless sod, I didn't notice them. Of course, they wanted to know who got to their prey first. I was stuffed. There were too many of them. It was either dig my own grave or be taken here. Changing sides wasn't difficult for you then, huh? Nope. Not particularly. I ain't any better anywhere else. The Berserkers hate anyone who's eaten from Baxter's palm. And I ain't heard shit from the clerics in a long time. And the Alps sure as shit ain't an option. At least here there's clear rules, uh, clear structure. You've never wanted to go back? <laughs> if I so much as put my little toe in the crater, that'd be that. But if you're going there, you could take something for me. Don't worry, it ain't much. And I'll pay you for it. Nero put a bounty on your head. Would have been surprised if he hadn't. But none of his goons have found me yet. You're not just telling me this because you want the shards for yourself, now are you? No. I want to win you over for the clerics. <laughs> Am I hearing you right? You want... Me? To join the clerics? Yeah. Pack your stuff. Fuck that. 
Guys like me are nothing but a target for the clerics. Have you forgotten my record? It's a mile long. I am a bounty hunter, not a saint. Don't worry about it. They don't expect you to have a clean slate. Even if that's true, it's not gonna happen. If I bolt now, I'll have a pack of poachers on my ass before you can say Caracas. And I can't exactly come knocking at the cleric's door with those assholes on my tail. No one here will notice someone missing. They would in my case. Let me tell you why. As long as I'm listed as one of Ghosta's fighters, I'm stuck here. Ghosta? Go down to the cellar. You'll see what I mean. So what's the problem? You won't fight. If I bail on him, I'll definitely have more than a few of his bloodhounds on my ass. You have to explain it to me. Morcons listed as fighters in Ghosta's ranks have to make a pact. And there's only one way to dissolve that pact. Fighting. If you refuse to fight after making the pact, it's open season on your ass. Do you have a few shards to spare for me? Get lost. I'm going. I'm going. No punching, all right? You've got your ears everywhere, too. Fortune favors a stupid. Well, somebody's got to take care of the idiot. Think so? I think you're full of shit. That's so. So, you made it past Batulga, huh? Welcome to the cellar, where only the alcohol counts. Here, this one's on the house. Thanks. If you want anything else, just holler. I don't serve piss here. Just the finest hooch from the hands of our dead enemies. Is everyone treated so well here? Of course! The best wares bring the best customers, as I always say. Not every innkeeper can say that with a straight face. Nobody here keeps a tab. So the guy at the door is an exception, right? How so? He was asking for shards. Is that right? I'll deal with that right away. Apparently they live to the north. I've heard that before. Everything's in a best or dire. Uh, don't worry about it. What Get up! Like right it? now! Ain't all as bad as it seems. Do you believe the rumors You sell to my customers? No. No, I... Looks like Batulg is getting sloppy. Best remind him of his duties, and introduce you to each other. You know the rule, no shards, no cellar. I'll be sorted soon. Promise. You'll be a bloody pulp soon. Get out of here, you fucking parasite. You can't keep your mouth shut. You're only gonna make that things worse. beggar's north. back. Yeah, just don't think about it. Well, no. You would go getting involved with him. Looking for something? I got nothing to prove. I really couldn't care less. I hate beggars. Those low lowlifes have no business in my cellar. Eh, what have I got to be upset about? You wanna buy something?
Next time, bye. Aren't you making this a little too easy? What did you say? It ain't all as bad as it seems. I need information. Ah, then you've come to the right place. The only small problem is that talking gives me such a dry mouth. Of course, I'd love to just help myself to a drink, but I wouldn't be able to stay in business if I did. Know what I mean? You want payment. To the point, huh? Then, yes, some small remuneration is required. Gotta make a living, after all, and times are hard. Cheer up, though. First one's for free. How did you come to have an inn? The cellar ain't just any old inn. But how I came by it is a long story. I could give you the shortened version if you're really interested. I'm all ears. Okay. Well, I inherited the cellar from my father. Ravak bless his soul. Back then, he was a thorn in the resistor's side. When the dispute between the poachers and the resistors worsened, there was a change of thinking. In what way? Let's just say alcohol is good for more than just wrecking your liver. It can take the edge off pain. So what? Well... Pain features pretty heavily in the Resistor's punishments. Haven't you heard of the Blood Cistern and the Tormentors? If not, then lucky for you. Not every Morkan who claims to serve Ravak can cope with torture without something to lessen the agony. The Resistors know that. That's why they turn a blind eye to booze. Don't practice what you preach, as the saying goes. I think. And all of this so the poachers don't go to the barricades. I see. Then what? Well, rowdy drunks are just as dangerous as a couple of troublemakers. So I devised a clever system to keep some order. But Tulga. Isn't that bad for business? Not at all. But Tulga makes sure that. Only those with deep pockets are welcome in the cellar. <laughs> Alexit has a nasty habit of disappearing out of the pockets of those who don't know how to defend themselves. The system works for me. Yeah, some scum slips through here and there, but Batulga is always happy to take out the trash. What do you have to offer? Take a look for yourself. I need information. Who could teach? There are a couple. My mouth. 
if you want to hear other rumors, you know where to find me. Like what? Stuff about Vlad and the voice of Khan, for example. Might be worth your while laying down some shards. Information is power and all that. I need information. What do you... Teach me something. Happy to. Think so? I think you're full of shit. I wouldn't be so sure. We should clean up our own house first. You have to take a chance when you find one. Somebody's gotta take care of it. Death is lurking everywhere out there. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. How can I earn a f You're looking at your answer. Uh I'm not sure I'm cut out for bar work. <laughs> not what I had in mind. I know a fighter when I see one. So how about taking part in my little contests? All you need is guts and some shards for your wager. And this is all legal, right? Legal? Of course, absolutely. Just a harmless way to let off some steam. And nobody needs to know if a few shards change hands, do they? Who's fighting in the contests? <laughs> nice try. Wager first. What? I need to bet before I know my opponent? Yeah, of course. Where's the excitement otherwise? Soon as I see your stake, I'll tell you a bit about your opponent. Just tell me when you're ready. I'm ready to fight. That's what I'm talking about. Here. That's all you're getting. That it? Nothing like a bit of self-confidence, is there? <laughs> Your first opponent, Dixon. Former outlaw, a lucky catch if you ask me. Knows a thing or two about manhunting. Broke his arm though, and we didn't have any quack salvers, so it healed badly. Doubt it'll give you much trouble. Where can I find Dixon? If he ain't just outside, he'll be in the war district. Just head up the steps towards the arena. You can't miss it. Smells like trouble. What did you say? Ghosta sent me. You're really gonna try every trick in the book to get me to join the clerics, aren't you? I'll keep it up until you agree. This isn't a great time for a duel. Why not? Because my arm's busted. A break don't heal overnight. Are you copping out? No, I was just hoping Ghost would send me someone who done owe his ass from his elbow. Look, no dirty tricks, okay? Won't be your biggest fan if I can't smoke and wipe my ass after this. At the same time, <laughs> any other wishes? Guess not. 
Say when you're ready. Let's fight. Wanna fight? I'll give you one. Ouch, that must have been embarrassing for you. Didn't think I'd win. You go away empty-handed. Sure Ghosta will find someone else to beat you up. Not so fast. The battle's over. Are you coming to join the clerics now? I don't know. My life has been one fuck-up after another. I thought the Morcons would be my last stop. Let me sleep on it for a night, huh? Then I'll tell you whether I'm ready to pack my bags. Stop making excuses. What are you hiding from? Man, you might be quick on the draw, but I'm not. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I don't want this to be another one. Give me a few hours. I guess I'll have to. I'll expect your answer tomorrow. You'll get it. Promise. I'll hold you to that. What are you doing? No stealing. Got it? Shit. The infection. Will you join the clerics? I will. Under one condition. Okay. I don't want the Morcons or Bounty Hunters to find me. I can't leave any tracks. If I can count on your silence, we have a deal. I'll keep my mouth shut. You have my word. Then we've got a deal. I'll become a cleric. I still can't believe it. Can you find your own way to the castle? Sure. I'll tell my boys I'm going out bounty hunting. Once I'm out, I'll disappear. With any luck, uh, no one will be surprised. Poachers sometimes end up as troll food. Oh, by the way, take this. I don't need this stuff anymore, so it might as well go to good use. Thanks. When are you gonna head out? Soon. You can let the clerics know. See you around, buddy.
I hope you understand me. Now, back to the barracks! About the outlaws. Ready for an interim report? You have my undivided attention! I recruited a former bounty hunter. That's exactly the sort of person we need! Obviously, I'll keep an eye on him. Well done! Here's your payment. Was that it? I'm still working on it. Take your time. Rushing headlong into the job won't help. About... You have... I'm still...